Welcome to Walton Famous Dogs. This is our second event that we have on. I'm going to just kind of do a little video, show you around what we have. What we wanted to do is have excellent curb appeal. This was our first thing. So what we did is we wrapped the dog cart with uh, our banner, Walton Famous Dogs and Lemon Shake-Ups. And if you notice, and on this side, because of the size of the vat, we're going to have them serve their own condiments. And then we also have your specialty shake, uh, lemon shake-ups for $5 a piece. And over here, this is how we serve our lemon shake-ups. Here's our press for our lemon press. And then here's the behind the scenes a little bit of how it looks. And the behind that banner, we use that a lot for storage, get things out of the way. One thing I liked, one of our guys did a nice job, is that they set our chips up this way, which was kind of cool. There's going to be 1,900 people at the event here. Anticipate uh, anywhere from 500 or plus. But this is the backside. This is a, a hot dog cart. Right here, we got cooking. We got some uh, great hot dogs cooking. And they're in there cooking. They're almost done. And then on this side. have the cheese sauce heating up and then more dogs in there and then on the back side I have the just to show you the chili as well and that's heating up as well and then my over on this side I store my buns I also store them up on top of the cart up here and uh, this is what it is, our backup supplies. This is all our hot dogs in here, frozen hot dogs. And we have uh, another case of them over there. Just wanted to show you exactly what it looked like and what our setup was all about, man. We're excited. And there's other guys are set up. We're waiting for the people to come about an hour from now. All right, folks, that is. If you ever get a chance to taste the famous Welton dogs, do so by the legendary Mike Welton. Freedom Mobile Living. Right today, I'm in the site of my father. This is where my father passed away, was buried. He passed away when I was like 26 years old. And really, that was the instrumental point of my life where it got me into business. Matter of fact, uh, after he passed away, I decided because my father was always afraid to take risk and so on, so he stayed in a stable job and that way it was felt more secured. In his generation, people did that. I mean, they stayed in their job and uh, they went for the retirement, but then things started changing and shifting. And so my father was so afraid to get into it, so as soon as he passed away, right after the funeral and everything, I already the next day I started business. I went into, at that time, there was no technology, computers, anything like that. But we have easy writers, like typewriters and stuff, that would do a maximum of a paragraph. So what I did is I started, to, in order for me to do like 300 letters, I'd literally have to type one out and then run it through again and then do 300 of them in order to mail them out to clients. And that's really how I started. I mailed out 300. A friend of mine came over. We did it in my bedroom. And we mailed out 300 letters uh, to clients or potential prospects in order to try to get some sales. All right, the following week, I decided, well, I just mailed them. Well, maybe if I make a phone call, maybe if I make a phone call, maybe something will happen. And that's exactly what happened. I ended up getting three clients. And I was in my background with was taxes. So I had three clients doing books for their businesses. And that was enough to spearhead my business and then go from there. So my dad kind of put that into me as far as wanting to have 
a, a business. What I have done over the years, if I've, I started out in business, tried to make all my money in that particular business, but then I got to a point where I started doing little, well, I would say smaller businesses, and then I would go ahead and have pockets of income stream. Well, over the years, things have changed, and with the pandemic, remote income became a big deal. Well, I was really doing remote income in some fashion. I still had brick and mortar, and I also still had a business that uh, was in an industrial park. So as soon as that pandemic happened, I, I got rid of the warehouse, got rid of the offices, everybody went on remote. And then I, at that point, I always have been consciously thinking about how can I make an additional income stream if I had one income stream over here that didn't do so well in one week or one month or whatever. What could I do to replace that? Being uh, just looking at what was available out in the market, not only what was already, but what could I create as well as remote income. And so from one thing you went to another, we took our green code too, we took it remote. Uh, and then at that point, uh, we started adding more to it. The Ride Local was already up and going, but after the pandemic, it kind of shut off. So, but we kept it available where we could open up the platform in any city we chose. I'm always constantly looking. Now, Rideshare always appealed to me, and the reason being is because you can bring an audience inside of a car, 100% of their attention. And I always was intrigued by that as a business model. And so and so our first event that we had, uh, we made like $409. And then the second event we did, uh, we, we served like 976 guests at $8 a piece. So, and so it does give us a pocket of income stream. One thing I'm finding about the hot dog business is I'm finding out I knew very little about it. I thought, who can't cook a hot dog? But there is a lot of things to the business as you go along. Uh, not only on serving the guests that come up to the placement of locations, but also the product itself. Because you know, what we have, we have the Welton Famous Dogs, which en ends up being a class of its own. There's no other hot dog out there like the ones we carry. And people, when they start tasting them, they really like them. So I like that appeal to it, is that uh, we have an exclusive. Uh, now the Ride Local, we reopened the platform in Grand Rapids, Michigan actually under the management style of uh, Jonathan Hitt. And I uh, tell you what, that's starting to pick up now. Uh, the Welton hot dogs uh, that we're doing now, that we do have are making decent income with composed and they're building their platform. So right now it's the beginning of the Grand Rapids. So we see some uh, building right now, but I can see progression going forward that the sales and amount of riders we're adding to the platform because our fares are a lot lower than the competition. Anybody can do any of this stuff I'm talking about. Now what you like to do, you can get into catering as well. So there's different ways you can do it and find one that you can do, start doing it. Just do it graciously over week after week and it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna become vocational for you and mundane. But in the process of that, start figuring out a better way for you to do it, a better way and a more profitable way you do it. A lot of times would be placement, a lot of times on when you drive makes a big difference and all those things you have to learn as you do the platform. I don't care whose platform you do, it is a learning curve and each platform uh, actually develops a different type of a driver. So it's based on your personality, based on what you like in your life, but I would suggest don't do anything you don't like. The fruit business where uh, just to add to our uh, income stream, when I was down there last w uh, winter, that we got some fruit and we started, about well, what type of revenue can we really see with something like that? So we, I posted an ad on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and when I posted that ad there, I had 983 people responding, and it was crazy. I was so going back down there, we have developed a little bit different with it. We now have the fruit, you know, a pack of three or a dozen, and then we'll also uh, add the lemon shakeups. Now we're working right now on something that's a, a, con a concoction or a blend of the different types of citrus that we do send or do sell to make a drink. So we'll see how we go with that. But with that, we've added that. We've also added the hot dog vending next to it as well.
people love the lemon shake-ups. Uh, they're done right there, right in front of them, a fresh squeeze, and then they're chilled right in front of you. So there's a little demonstration putting on every time we're bending. Anything that you can think about as far as making additional income, the biggest thing that most people have is that when they're working, they're generally working full time anyhow. Either you're working 40, 50, 60 hours a week in order to make ends meet. And we all have different situations. Some of us have family, some of us don't. But whatever situation you is in, it doesn't matter. The big thing you have to do is you have to start. So I've always noticed is I think about maybe starting another concept or another type of an income stream. And prior to doing it, I'm thinking, well, we're gonna have time to do it. Now, if you look at all what I do, you would think there's not enough time in the day to do it. And so I do isolate what's the most important. And then I work on that first thing every day. And I always, I said it in an earlier video, it talked about choosing three things you're gonna do that day. But number one is going to be the most important thing which is going to affect you, which would be income. So I'm going to concentrate on sales or I'm going to concentrate on the platform. So if you can concentrate on the platform and just carve out even an hour, a couple hours a week. If you can do an hour, a couple hours a day, that's even great. But even an hour a week, a couple hours a week and just add some more income into your lifestyle. When you start doing that and you start seeing it that it's worth it when you're making the type of additional income that you do, then maybe it gets to a point where you start looking at, hey, maybe I can replace the income I have and even make more than that. One income stream cannot make as much money as several. And that's just the way it happens. And that's happened with me as well. So your income ends up increasing because you have different multiple income streams. Now the security comes in where you have more than you really need. And you can maintain that income or you can spike that income. There are some people that take the apps and with their income streams and they'll run them consistently every week and then all of a sudden they want a little additional income for whatever reason. And so they'll go ahead and spike it and then they'll jump it up or they're even at times they're making up to a double amount of income. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe below and then hit notification bell. Now, if you have any comments or if you got any questions, please do so right below. Thanks for watching. But if you like what you see in this video and you're looking to not only reduce your debt, but you're also looking to increase your income, I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out. Thank you.